welcome everyone. Here we are with the one and only Mr. Adam Berta. If you listen to this podcast, I don't know who you are if you don't know who this guy is. He's been here before. Maybe one of my favorite people in the world. Adam, man, you're looking purple. How are you otherwise? Uh, feeling purple, Cam. Feeling purple. Uh, feeling good. Adam here. He, he's one of the photographers for Goose. He recently took photos for Trey Anastasio band, Bear Fuzz photographer, so many other amazing, awesome bands. And he's a staple of the scene. He's one of the guys who, like, you know, originally really stoked my fire about getting into all this crazy stuff. And I, I remember Adam Berta when he really didn't know how to take photos. And now he's literally at the top of his game. Man, I'm so glad to have you here. Talk to me about the personality traits you most admire in other people. You know, if somebody's outgoing enough in the same parallel way that I am, uh, and we can just talk and, and just laugh our asses off, I mean, that's that's it. Like, that's he who laughs most wins. That's the point of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's nothing better. That's the best way to connect with somebody, best way to, uh, you know, really feel something. Yeah, that's empathy, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Have you always been that way? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Um, no, I, used to, I was, like, real depressed from, like, from, like, 13 to like 18, 19, 22 or something like that. Um, so no, it wasn't like that. It was mostly like, look at those assholes smiling and laughing all the time. I hate them. Uh, but person, yeah, no, per, no, I don't think it was always that way. But I think I, I realized, I think it was acid actually. I think it was LSD really that fucking like really like, Sorry, mom, but like that really, really clicked it for me because it was just like, oh, dude, life is so pointless and doesn't matter. Like, why am I so worried about shit all the time? Like, I was already saying like, oh, man, life is so pointless and it doesn't matter. I'm so sad all the time. But it's like, no, you're looking at it the wrong fucking way, man. Life doesn't matter. It's all pointless. Nothing you do really matters. It's all going to end up in the same cosmic dust one way or another. Like, just fucking enjoy it while you got it. Mm. Laugh. Laugh, tickle your buddies. I'm going to tickle you tonight, Cam. But for real, my religion is looking up at the stars and being like, oh, all those stars are like, you know, other suns. And they all got like other rocks floating around them and shit. And like those rocks got like other moons and shit. And then like on those rocks, there might be like other life forms and stuff. Like what the fuck? Nothing I do matters. Like it doesn't matter. Like if this planet never happened, it wouldn't matter because everything is so vast. Right? You've come so far shooting these fucking huge arenas. And I want I want you to take me back to like, you know, that Adam Berta, the version of you that decided to go all in on photography and just like what that decision was like for you and why why concert photography? Well, Chris Salvato, you know, I feel like this is uh, exactly how the first uh, first interview went just because Chris Salvato is like the man that made it all happen for both of us, you know, like made like inspired both of us. Um, uh, But, you know. Chris needed uh, content production and I took photo in, in high school and I decided that around that time that, you know, live music was the only thing that brought you that just pure joy and that, 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 wow, I look like a, a dummy dancing like this, but everybody around me does too. So it's cool. You know, that, that I belong here kind of feeling. Uh, so I, mean, I knew I wanted to do something with music and, and photography just kind of uh, ended up being the, the, I don't know, the medium. So you were like more so just wanting to get involved in music and it ended up being photography? 100%. Yep. I mean, I took photography in high school. We like, there's two, there's photo one and photo two. And we also created a photo three class, like me and a few uh, classmates because we enjoyed it a lot. So you didn't necessarily get into photography because you love photography, but would you say now you've like grown to love it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Nerd out with me about it. Like what about it? do you just like obsess over uh so i feel like i'm um equal parts you know computer nerd uh as artist type uh so it definitely is that middle ground you know you have to be very good with numbers or not really good with numbers but like good with figuring out settings and you know uh just that on the spot um troubleshooting and, and and problem solving but then you also have to have you know the eye for for uh, composition and and how to draw the emotion out of your subject you know to get the image you want or or how to just document without interfering with what's going on around you you just went on this amazing tour did you ever could you ever have dreamt that that you would have done what you you've just done with goose and Trey? i mean 
I don't know. It's, it still feels like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I couldn't have dreamt that. But uh, it definitely seems like something that, you know, you always hear the old heads, you know, talk about these crazy stories and they'll just talk your ear off for, for an hour about this, uh, one question you ask them about this epic thing they did. And it, it definitely kind of feels like that. Like it, it holds that kind of weight, that kind of magnitude. Yeah. Tell me about the tour and like, you know, what, what it meant to you. Maybe you can give me like some of your coolest memories from it. I, I'd just love to hear you dish because I, I haven't yet. Uh, like coolest memories. Um, or just most memorable stories. All right. So here's one. I was, I was shooting um, the Trey, Trey Band soundtrack and I don't know. Is this it's probably okay to say? Right? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and, you know, I've never met Trey before. Seems like a cool guy. Uh, definitely seems like a cool guy. But he's on stage and he's cracking jokes with the band. And it was like this every night where he would be up there just cracking jokes, having a good time. And then he'd play like two licks on the guitar. And then every single musician, like all freaking 18 of them up there or whatever, like they would all just hit the, hit the note on their, their instrument and, and they'd start playing the song like from the middle of the jam. Like it, was, it was insane how professional these guys were. It was really, really, it was really cool. Uh, but it was the, the night that Billy, uh, Billy Strings was sitting in and, uh, and they're all going over this Billy Strings song. And, and uh, I think the bassist uh, comes up with like a, a different riff that he suggested that they do. And he's like, and Trey's like, fuck yeah, man, that's it. That's it. We got to do that. Like, man, that is going to break the internet. And you know what? I love breaking the internet. You know why? Fuck the internet. And it was just like this cool, like, wow, that, that dude's just like a, a bad, bad mother right there. It's cool. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There's a million amazing, uh, interesting moments from that, from that run, though. Those guys are tough as fucking nails, dude. Like, James Casey, on the road, you know, he's, he's sick. He's got cancer. Fucking dude takes off, goes home middle of the run does chemo for a day we have a day off the next day he's at the fucking show the day after he's done chemo playing in front of nine thousand people what and uh zero the the, the percussionist you know yeah he, he had a health issue too and he, he had to miss a show he's at the next damn show like what these guys aren't i mean zero 70 plus years old what the hell Incredible. It's love, I love it. It's amazing. I wish I could have written down like more things that like I just witnessed like the interactions of, you know, like like the, the guy, like I, you know, you know me, I'm not not the biggest, you know, hugest fish guy. Uh mm -hmm. that I'm a huge Trey fan. Like that guy is a, a fucking like he's a legend and a half in my opinion. Like it's it's really incredible. Mm. Uh, you know, like he knows the magnitude that he 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 carries when he walks into a room, but like He's also the goofiest son of a bitch I've ever heard talk. Like he's 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 great. He's like totally, totally loosey goosey. Mm. Well, if you made it this far, thank you for listening. Just want to let y'all know we've got these hand dyed, ice dyed, weird music podcast hoodies and also tees. If you'd like one, let us know. We'd love to get you one. Also, want to give a big shout out to Voodoo Ranger from New Belgium Brewing for sponsoring this podcast. And a big thank you to the geniuses over at Thrax CBD for sponsoring us with their amazing products. Got also want to give a big thank you to J&J &J Distribution, Ohio's premier Delta 8 and CBD wholesale supplier. Retailers, check out their brands Cloud 8, Compassionate Buds, and Zaza. Also, a big thank you to our local print shop, Franklinton Press. Definitely hit them up for any of your custom merch or custom printing needs. They'll take good care of you. Got links in the description. And yeah, much love, y'all. Now back to the episode. What do you think were some of the most impactful lessons you had to learn for you to really level up with what you're doing beyond just, you know, technically understanding the camera better? Uh, actually, that's a really good question. Um, so I used to like, you know, party really hard at shows and, you know, just get completely obliterated, wasted and, uh, you know, not remember most of the show the next morning and stuff. And, that, and then I, you know, started bringing the camera to a show and that kind of like forced me to be a little bit more cognizant and, um, and I think that was one huge thing, you know, is, you know, just, you know, have a great time, but watch it, you know, and, and, uh, I don't know. Um, I think the camera definitely helped me a lot in that regard. Um, honestly, just like being good to the people, uh, around you that, and being real, you know, being good and real to the, uh, to the people around you, I think gets you further than, than even your skill. Like there's a lot of uh, a lot of photographers, uh, you know, in the scene that are, you know, definitely better, better, more skilled than I am. I, I would say, 
uh, and, you know, have a better eye, it's really can capture like some really cool stuff. Um, but maybe they just didn't have that, you know, that opportunity that I had to, to meet the, the people that I did and, 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 uh, and just tell them how passionate I was about what they were doing. And, and that was just part of me being, you know, real and, uh, and trying not to be bad, you know? So Adam Bird, you're one of Goose's photographers. <laughs> Talk to me about just like Goose, but not just Goose, all the musicians that you've gotten to work with and the ones that stick out in your head that you admire most for a certain reason. Damn. Damn, dude. What? So I'd say uh, one of the coolest cats, you know, that I've been exposed to and that's like a great friend uh, now and I figure probably forever is, is uh, Peter Ansbach from Goose. Like, dude, that dude, you, you and me think that we don't turn it off and we're always kind of working. That guy is like, He's somehow a machine, but somehow the most personable, fucking like enjoyable person you've ever met. It's like super like constructive and super like he'll build you up and but then he like leads by this like outrageous, unattainable example because he's just really good at everything he does. Like Peter Osbach is a is a, is a freaking force to be uh, reckoned with, and uh, and I admire the hell out of him for sure. Like like when me and him met, you know at weird music studios it's just crazy to think about you know all the facebook conversations in 2018 of me being like dude you guys really got it man i swear to god you guys are gonna fucking go all the way like like you, you gotta take me with you man you got i want to do this photo thing like i've looked back at these conversations and they're hilarious i feel like that guy has uh been one of the most uh influential and just like you know encouraging uh you know icons in my in my personal story um so yeah so as far as like work ethic and musicianship and friendship and you know dashing good looks and mustache, uh, yeah, Peter Ansbach's definitely up there. Derek Petru Petrucci, you know, you know Derek uh, from uh, Bear Fuzz is amazing. That guy is uh, he's also just one of those guys that'll just hype you up all the time. Dude works full time job, also works full time like putting together his band and, and trying to get things going. There's a lot of uh, roadblocks that they've had uh, standing in in the way of them like getting on the road and touring and and it's just like the, the guys just make sure everybody's in the best mood at all times anyway like i mean it's just it's a cool that, that's a really cool group um you know kitchen dwellers are you joking all those guys are like the weirdest people i've ever met and i love them so much like they're the greatest like joe funk what the hell who are you how are you gonna eat that old oatmeal on the road like that it's gross but like how are you gonna also sing those beautiful songs you wrote while playing stand-up bass and, Sean Swain, what the hell? Crazy Mando player. Um, I think there's a lot of people, dude. This is really cool because you're one of the few people who actually gets to know these guys in the scene because most of the people who know them just know them as fans. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, I'm also huge fans of all these guys' stuff. Like, um, yeah. Like, I mean, Rick, Rick from Goose is just like, what the hell is going on up there? You know what I mean? Like, there's some like, Dude leaves everything on the stage every single night. It looks like he, he might die, you know, while he's just giving it to you. And that's just un unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. So we're talking about like, wow stuff, you know, definitely that. All right. I, I, I'm really excited to hear your answer to this next question. If you had to recommend three songs as a way to get to know you, what three would you pick? Oh, man. You got to give me a heads up on that kind of uh, <laughs> question. Probably go with uh, Born to be Wild, Midnight Rambler, and, uh, you know, uh, in the Macarena, baby. <laughs> Everyone out there listening, you may or may not be familiar with the man named Mario Spumoni, but this dude, he is a legend, and he makes this hot sauce, Demon Sweat. This shit, these are made in small batches. He does not have a website or anything like that, so I don't have any kind of link for you. All I have to say is... <laughs> The next time he comes out with this stuff, do not sleep because this shit slaps. If you could give any initial <laughs> advice to someone starting out as, as a photographer, what would that be? Just walk in with the camera, act like you own the place. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just fake it till you make it, man. You'll figure it out. So Adam, when you think about the next level for you, dreaming about it, what, what does that look like with where you're at now? You know, five, 10 years down the road. Um, you know, I'm not really a five year, 10 years down the road kind of guy. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I don't know. I'd like to get a lot more into uh, studio work. And I think that that's the, uh, the only way to, to really have any kind of comfort doing like music photography. 
because, you know, my, my, my knees are already starting to hurt. You know, my neck is all messed up and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of work on the body, a lot of wear and tear, just, uh, going to shows and, and, and lugging shit around and, and staying up all night until six in the morning on a bus and then waking up at, you know, 11, if you can, if you can sleep that long, like it's, uh, I don't know. And also just, uh, the not on the road time is the worst too, you know, left to your own devices, you know, you said devices. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to devices. Devices. Yeah. Right. <laughs> devices yeah devices i think a good way to wrap this up what is your favorite part about your your career my my favorite part of doing uh the music photography thing is that i get to work with um super passionate people that love doing exactly what they're doing and you know they are literally fighting for their lives to be able to do it like as much as possible you know they they, they gave up on most of them like you know given up on on work in the the traditional sense and they're they're doing this like doing like that's i feel like i'm doing it right next to them i am you know it's cool it's so tight i love it mm. talking to somebody who's really passionate about something about that subject is just it's super super wonderful mm. adam fucking Berta. adam man i love you if you listen this far links in the description go follow him on socials if you don't already get some Press some photos. He's got Adam Adam Berta photo at Adam Berta photo, not focal points to local joints anymore. At Adam Berta photo, holidays right. are coming up. He's got prints available on his website. Let's get a bah, bah, bah. <laughs> hell yeah.